Yes, just a short video for Chocolate Meter, another YouTube member, uh, how to test Xena diets. Xenas do come in a uh, variety of colors, um, the normal glass colored ones, but they're green, blue, yellow, gray, and some of them have oddball coatings on them as well. I believe keeping things simple. Power supply set at 20 volts or thereabouts. DC on this connector block. Basically the bottom is positive, the top rail is negative and I use a 1K resistor to limit the current. And with clips I um, put a Zener in. In this case it's a uh, 4.89 volts Zener, say 5 volts more or less. But it's one handed, it's also a bit hard, a bit awkward to get a tripod in here, so grab another Zeno, we chuck one of these in. The Zeno got a bend on one end, so um, that particular one needs to go on the positive side of the rail. And uh, we cut that one in, so we got that Zeno in there. And that's a uh, 13.9 volt Zeno, more or less. And I'll try another one. One of these glass colored ones, no idea what the value is. But by sorting them out as you go, um, you can put them in different boxes and put a label on them. Um, this particular glass colored one is here and it's 4.89 4.9 volts. I see I put the same as uh, Zeno in uh, twice in the previous video. Um, I put this particular one in, grey coloured Zeno, and this is 5.45 uh, volts. If the Zeno gets put in the wrong way around or the other way, it will act like a normal diet, and it drops about 0.7 um, volts across the terminals. So I'll put this one in the other way and then see what reading we get out of it. Um, it's recommended testing Xenos at about 10 milliamps here. Uh, 8 point, uh, correction, 0 0.8 volts across this Xena. And well, by having the 10k resistor, it gives me safe working current from between, say, 5 and 12 milliamps. LEDs can be more or less used as Xenos as well. Green ones is about say 2 volts and the yellow one is 2 volts and these two LEDs in series they give me a 4 volt Zeno and there is an optical indication um, when the Zeno is on the LEDs are glowing at the same time so yeah an LED can be used as well provided the current again stays under 10 milliampere thanks for watching